As most of you know, the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man franchise is now over, with Sony Pictures rebooting the character for his own new franchise, as well as appearances in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, actor Dennis Leary, who played Captain George Stacy in the series, was interviewed by IGN at San Diego Comic-Con and revealed a little bit about the possible future plans for the now-departed series. Leary said the following, I was disappointed because I'm totally selfish and greedy. I came back briefly in 2 and possibly in The Amazing Spider-Man 3. There was this idea at one point that Spider-Man would be able to take this formula and regenerate the people in his life that had died. So there was this discussion that Captain Stacy would come back even bigger in episode three. So I was like, let's go. Mark, do you buy or sell this potential plot direction for the amazing Spider-Man three? I say this as the biggest fan that Pet Cemetery ever had. <laughs> I totally sell this premise. I am very happy this is not the direction they took it in because as somebody who was admittedly entertained by The Amazing Spider-Man 2, it's not a great film, but I shoved some popcorn in my face and had some fun watching the stuff on screen. This is not the way to go. With the way that franchise was going, if you put this reanimated storyline into it, it just gets even messier and it just sounds stupid to me. Like, really, we're gonna now we're gonna bring back people from the dead, and then maybe we can bring his daughter back from the dead too. I don't know, but it just I, I don't I, we don't need zombies in this world. I'm sure it happened in the comic books at some point. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what you decide to take from the comic book lore and make into a feature film that you only get to do one every three years. That is the wrong story to go with. I'm sorry. All I could think about when I read these comments was the Marvel zombies. Right. right. That, that's that's right. all I could think about was Marvel right. zombies. And look, you're you're look, I'm also one of the people I enjoyed the Amazing Spider Man too, but it was a I'm in agreement with everybody else that it was a massive drop off from the first Amazing Spider Man. And this would have just continued the downward spiral, <laughs> bringing back the dead. So okay, so he'll bring back Uncle Ben. He'll bring back right. us both both the <laughs> Stacys. He'll <laughs> he'll bring back, I don't know, whoever else died in, in these franchises. Now where it could have been interesting and bold filmmaking, maybe, if they wanted to be experimental, if they did that, but it did become like, there is a theme in the Spider-Man films where tragic things come from scientists messing with things they shouldn't mess with. That's been a running theme through both the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films and the Mark Webb Spider-Man films. So if... Peter Parker then got caught up in that, tried that, and all of a sudden the Stacys and Uncle Ben start turning bad and they're zombies and they're killing other people, whatever, and now in some tragic, dramatic end, Peter's got to kill Uncle Ben again. I, even that doesn't work. I'm trying to make something up and I'm losing. So, no, I, I sell it. That would have been a horrible idea. This made me laugh so hard <laughs> when I read it this morning because all I could think about was that cutout scene from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which was uh, uh, Norman Osborn's head in a, you know, a cryogenic tank that they didn't have there he's like i'm still alive you know <laughs> and it makes perfect sense when you hear this uh thing from dennis leary they're gonna like it sounds so horrible like it's no secret that i thought amazing spider-man 2 was garbage i hated it <laughs> and um this just would have been worse this would have been like you know poo on the top of a cherry on top of a mountain of crap you know it would have been like unbelievable like just hearing that i was like that is so against everything that anything that spider-man you could pick like the jackal did made a clone of of Gwen Stacy back in the seventies, and that was like really weird, strange comic book storytelling. Uh, this just sounds horrible. But so. I will say that Shep and I are happy to bring Dennis Leary into our Aunt May production. Yes, uh, yes. yes. Spicy we, Larry. It's going under the code name <laughs> Spicy Larry, but we've been starring working starring Marissa it. Tomei. Yeah, there's a lot of people that we've already talked to who are going to be in. It's star studded. We'd love Dennis Leary to be involved if you want to be in, and we could bring you back to life, kill you multiple times in the movie. <laughs> And every time you just keep coming back more eroded, sort of like American Werewolf in London, let's talk. 